dear sisters and brethren, we are so grateful to be here. I have never heard such joyful noise. I have decided that's what the celestial kingdom is going to sound like. We are learning much from each one of these women, but more than anything, we are able to see what they are doing and how they're lifting in the kingdom. Relief Society was designed for the very purpose of providing relief, both temporal and spiritual. And so some of what I will be doing, I hope, is conveying that spiritual relief and buoying up our sisters so that they can share that spiritual relief, not just with their sisters, but their neighbors and in their communities. It is just a real privilege for me to be with you and to tell you in person, finally, how much I love you. Isn't this a sweet opportunity that we have on Sundays to come together as a congregation and to through our songs that we sing, through the prayers that we offer, worship our Heavenly Father and our Savior Jesus Christ. It was sort of surreal because I've only ever seen her during general conference giving talks and now she was there, like really there. <laughs> She's really extending the love from the prophet to us and we are totally grateful on it. When we have opportunities to hear from leaders like Sister Johnson, um, I remember that um, we have this worldwide sisterhood and, and that um, we're not really far from each other. We have gone to the general conference several times and just we see them from the distance, but just sitting with Sister Camille beside me, it was uh, uplifting. <laughs> we meet often and talk about the youth. And uh, then we want to unite families. Thank you so much. Pastor Torkis, it is a pleasure. We have 62 girls in seminar. We started with only three. And as time went by and we talked to them about the importance of seminary, we sought permission from their parents. Christ, I strive to become like you at all times and in all things. Jesus.